Hey, this is Daniela, and to point our conference here, I'm here with Laura. I'm going to be asking you some questions today. Thank you very much. So, please introduce yourself and the organization you're representing today. Absolutely. My name is Laura Sultan. I'm the founder and CEO of Designs by Nature Gems, a handmade luxury crystal jewelry company where everything's made in Toronto and we sell internationally as well as the founder of the Laura Sultan, a business consulting company to help other startups who really have limited funds but can really grow and benefit just from having someone who's been through the industry and who's a serial entrepreneur. Okay, great. So how do you difference yourself in the fashion and jewelry world? I make super unique designs. I know that sounds arrogant and I, I will please excuse. But the reason I say that is I went from, I took a technique that's rarely done. Okay. And then I simplified it more for the fashion world and added a flair. That's the simplest answer. But because I'm the one who did it and I'm aware of IP and stuff, it is different from almost anything else you find out there in the industry. And that's what makes it so different. And in addition, we stay with raw stones. We don't do cut stones. So no matter what, you always have a little more earthy, different vibe going to it, even though the designs themselves are super smooth and beautiful. So yeah. That's great. Thank so you. What led you to this business? An interesting life and passion. <laughs> I always got into art and creativity and crystals. Yeah. And, um, sorry. Yes. <laughs> I got interested in art and creative, creativity and crystals. Yeah. And as such, I really went into it when I was in a darker place in my life. Mm -hmm. So I was a teacher. I got burnt out. And I used it to kind of start healing. And when I immigrated over to Toronto, yes. I started this as to figure out work because I couldn't legally work yet. So it was kind of like exploring the art and learning about business. And once I could work, I started just selling at art shows. And then when I had a child, I had to move online. So I learned e-commerce and then I moved to Amazon and then the company grew. Oh, wow. That's yeah. very interesting. Thank you. So how is the design by Nitrogen paving the way for innovation and handmade jewelry? So I really want to show a few things. One of the facts that handmade jewelry is an industry that can grow and be profitable like any other industry. Most of the corporate discussions I hear don't believe that at all. And yet I am the example against it. I have won the Stevie Awards um, fastest growing company in 2022. I have had Female Entrepreneur of the Year. So I've had a lot of proof to show it is profitable and you can do it while also respecting employees, which is another tenant we have through benefits, um, flexible work hours, higher wages, all that jazz. Great. So if you could give any advice to entrepreneurs and leadership, what would you say to people that want to follow your steps right now? I would say find someone to look at who follows your vision and aligns with your values. So whatever you build, you feel is right. Because if you don't listen to kind of almost your authentic self, and that's said a lot nowadays, you're not going to be able to understand that if you don't build something that's that, it will not, it will not succeed. You have to build something that aligns to you and find the people to help you along the way. That's great. Right. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today. Yep. It's a pleasure to have you and sharing all your knowledge and experience with us. Thank you so much. And thank you very much.